What is up, and it's going on guys, Simpsy here, and today for you, I have another episode of Let's Play Westeros Turtle War, Windsor Winter Submod House Stannis Baratheon. Now, first things first, we were besieging uh, Widow's Watch, I did skip a couple of turns ahead since the last episode, we tried to negotiate with House uh, Mandalay, I tried to give them car hold for a ceasefire and hopefully a potential alliance, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, I put uh, Sigorn Then at the bridge here, and obviously been attacked by um, an army from the Ram's Gate. So we're going to play it. Um, he's got, what, some shitty militia, some arts, a little bit of cav, and we're going to have a bridge battle. So I feel like playing it. Seeing we lost the last battle to Aegon Targaryen. We tried to kill him, but we ended up just sacrificing pretty much all of the garrison in Storm's End, which was kind of shitty. But um, I think I might actually go into the files and change some of these backgrounds, see if I can get some better ones. Because I'm getting a little bit sick of them. Um, so we do have our bridge here. Um, they're attacking us. Who's better at... I would imagine the... Uh, the woodland guys here. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to put the spearmen at the front. And we'll just kind of cluster fuck it everyone in there and put them on the defense we'll put Then and his bodyguard unit just behind because if I'm not mis oh what's we can't see where's a lot of these archers we could send our cavalry unit across okay that's the only problem with uh, some of this Windsor Winter some of, some of the skins aren't quite fixed on it so you know what I mean. We'll still get everyone to hold there though. We can kill some of these archers. Kill them. Come on. And run back. We'll reform back here. Might move everyone else a little bit closer. Just for the sake of it. Oh shit, run. Guard mode. That actually might work out better because it's closer formation. Actually, probably not. Hold them there while those shitty Mandalay militia push. And we'll get our cavalry to kind of pick them up. Those archers probably won't do too much damage. Seeing as we, we knocked most of them out. They are shaken though. We'll hold them for a bit longer then we'll actually charge. So once we've taken out the Mandalays, we're going to focus on the Boltons. And then we'll move further down south to King's Landing. We'll leave Rick, uh, Rick and Stark... Oh, we'll give the Starks back, well, the North back to the Starks. And uh, I might even give, I think I might give Edric Storm, the Riverlands, to honour Robert at least. Um, and the Stormlands, and obviously, I'll divide it up with generals and, and such. Now, I have no idea why, the last couple of days my Fraps has been really, really low. Okay, I think they're all pretty well shaken. So I think I'm going to actual charge. Because they are wavering as well. Come on. Come 
Now they've all gone back to steady, haven't they? Go back to whole formation. Yeah, look at that. That's popped straight up back to um, 3.9. Probably have a better chance of holding them. Oh, let's pop right back down. Is there any... Are they still shaking? I think that bloody push of Outriders has really helped them. Rally troops, and we'll go in for another charge. Now, what specific... We go for their militia. On the minute arms, even. Come on, we can do it. Yay, they're broken. Come on. Hit the shaking now. Well, once we've taken this, we can do the battle at Flint's Finger or whatever it's called. Oh, there goes the enemy general. And that should cause a massive rout now. Yeah, we'll continue the battle, mopping most of their troops up. So we could ransom some of them. I have no really hatred towards the Mandalays. They just chose the wrong side. They rebelled once we proclaimed Rick and Stark Warden of the North. And they kind of got pissed at it as well, seeing because they wanted <laughs> Rick and Stark to marry a Mandalay instead of a, a Baratheon. But we are... Stannis is the one true king. Now, first of all, guys, just I really do apologise because I'm going to have to go through and check how much memory my thing has, or maybe I just have too many files on my computer. For some reason, my fraps just gets really, really low frames. It just drops down to one and just stays at it for a second. Then I just, I just stop recording and press play. It just it goes fine. So I don't really know why that is. It's very odd. Well, I think we can end it here now. 600 to 33. Yeah, we didn't do too bad. Armored Spearman, of course, did the most amount of damage. Those woodland warriors did an alright job. Hopefully, we'll, actually, we'll probably get a heroic victory on that bridge now. We'll ransom, and they accept it. Um, Segon Then no. I don't want a a wildling apart. I'm pretty sure he's a wildling, isn't he? Yeah. From what I can remember, I don't really want a wildling part of the royal family. Hmm, we have another battle at f Widow's... Oh, Widow's Watch. I thought it was Flint's Finger. We are going to do a save just after that battle, and... Seeing this army looks pretty decent. Look at that. Cell swords. It's really fresh. I don't think it's only been in one battle. I think I'm going to play this battle as well. Okay, we'll do that then. It should be decent. <sighs> because um, it'll be interesting to see what the texture of the cell swords are. They're going to either look... Yeah, it's going to be interesting whether or not they're actually, like, silver. And uh, we have since we lost mm, the battle against Aegon, I'm still, I'm still still pissed off about that. Oh, they have been retextured. That is awesome. Sell swords. Okay, now Edric Storm can have his first command. Oh, Edric's uh, obviously Robert Baratheon's bastard. Actually, I'm going to move my... Should I move my archers? Yeah, why not? Actually, probably should move the my crossbow units up further. Put them on a loose formation. Put them this way. These longbow units will probably look pretty decent as well. Yeah. Awesome. Better pull them further back then. And then we get hit. We'll move our cell swords up. We have macement on that, don't we? Um 
I want my maceman to be one of the first lot in. Actually, no, that's actually a pretty good idea, putting them on the walls. Are they? Oh, we can't quite see. Yeah, I'm going to swing around and put this tower here. And this tower. Hang on. There. Put that one there as well. The rest of you lot. Can rally up behind that lot of bowmen. That's awesome that they put that script in. We got a shit ton of bloody cell swords coming in. Justin Massey was the other general, wasn't he? Okay, we're gonna pause and we're gonna actually give the commands. I don't know. They maybe they're not in range yet. These masemen will do extremely well up upon the walls. Yeah, I'm really surprised that these guys aren't quite in range. I thought they would be. We'll move them up a bit. At least I've got my crossbowmen further up because they have those like shields, so when they shoot... They can fall back. I don't think they seem to be doing. These spears look different. Are they firing? Seems look like they're just taking fire. Okay, we're losing a little casualties for some reason. I don't know why it is. Um, our archers, especially in this Westeros mod, kind of fuck up a bit. It's quite, quite odd. Um, we do have our longbow then. They can still reach. Which is really decent. Even though most of them won't hit. I'm going to change it back to... Uh, just normal arrows because we're not versing that heavily armoured troops so we don't really need it. How much do they have in the garrison there? Men at arms, spearmen. We're on the walls here though. And here. I usually give that order, um, which does work, you you give the command for each flank to attack the other side of the wall, so they run, and they'll run through the top of the gateway and capture the gateway, and in so doing that, you don't have to smash down the ram. Um, I think I'm going to pour everyone in, I think we do need everyone in. Probably we could leave Massey and most of the cavalry, but we can move all the cell swords in, which we do need. How are our macemen doing on the walls? They're going to do spectacular, I reckon. Who are they coming up against? Men at arms. Wow, yeah, these guys can get fucked. Awesome. They seem like they're taking a while to get in here. Go through the main gate. What are you guys doing? Don't go on the ladders. Hope we don't lose too many troops due to that. 
Fuck me. Oh wow, we have macemen in the town center already? Where the hell did they come from? Oh, they came from the ram, didn't they? Wow, these guys are going to be dropping like flies. And there goes their general. Oh. Awesome, Maceman. So we can reform these spearmen to a... Excellent. Hang on, now pause this and redeploy them. There. So we can kind of block them. And we'll keep the macemen in there so they can take the settlement. Perfect. So we can take it without minimum casualties. Kill this levy Northman. So many bloody rebels in the north. And now my fraps has dropped really low. It's down to one frame a second. Now it's back up to normal. That is really strange. Oh well, um, looks like we're blocking these. We'll put it on the defensive so they hold their position. Looks like, yeah, looks like no mana troops is going to get in there. I guess we could just get our macemen to try to kill as many as possible. We just need to wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Here come some contenders. Man, spear wall. Baratheon Bannerman, hold fast. Doom. We all, all we need to do is hold for a minute and twenty seconds. Now they're just running at us, trying to get in. Oh, hang on. No, they can't get through. Oh, what the fuck? No, we can hold it. By the time they get there... We lost a unit on the wall here, but there was a shit ton of them there. 19 to... 20 to 50, really. Well, we wiped out that lot of spear levies that came running at us. And I am for sure going to end the battle. We lost 400 men. Holy crap. Looks like there's going to be a lot to ransom. And that's our, what? One of our fourth settlements in the north. Goodbye, Widow's Watch, with minimum casualties. And we're going to sack. Relationships worse than with House Mandley. Wouldn't know why. Sarcasm. Okay, we're gonna move. I'm gonna leave one lot of free riders. And we'll move them. Actually, seeing as we just sacked their city, they're probably pretty well right. Move Edric out. Actually, move those free riders back. I probably should keep them there. Who's at Storm? Who's in that fort? Anyone important? I thought Mathis Rowan was in one of the forts. I believe he was. House Aaron wants to negotiate, maybe. Stannis is at Winterfell until we have enough money. Oh, god damn it. Candidate for adoption, no, thank you. Factions announcements. Devon Seaworth. Yeah, I would prefer Davos to have Lord of the Dreadfort. 
Minus one loyalty, plus two dread. Ooh, that's probably not a very good trait for Sadabos, seeing how like loyal he is, but... We'll remain to see. Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there, you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So, uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.